So we want to start by introducing you to what we refer to as the spiritual context. Spiritual context. So USM's mission statement is communicating the principles and practices of spiritual psychology worldwide through the process of soul-centered education. In other words, the educational process itself is congruent with that which is under study. So principles and practices of spiritual psychology through the process of soul-centered education. And I think everybody by now is really, maybe sometimes painfully aware, we're living in a changing world. And it's changing really fast. I think faster than most of us are aware of. And in some cultures, in some countries, there are many people who are just plain old seeking freedom from oppression. And we see those on the nightly news, and hopefully we send them loving and light for their highest good. It's also a time when old forms, old forms, socially, economically, politically, and certainly educationally, are no longer working. It's very clear, people who watch this stuff, they're not really working anymore. New forms are emerging. New forms are emerging. The principles and practices of spiritual psychology prepare you in living into the new forms that are emerging. So I hope you can grasp that idea. This is a discipline in a way that's designed for assisting people into the future. Not that far into the future. Those principles also work right here and now, but they're going to work even better as time goes on. And I think that you'll, you'll see why uh, as we get more and more and more into this. One of the things that's emerging, and there was a tremendously powerful study that was done at the UN several years ago, they actually asked all the countries, all the member countries, to, I don't know how they did this, but they got statements about uh, what the status quo was in that country. And they had about, I think, four different uh, variables that they were asking on. One was um, political, and the, and the answer to that one was, was pointless powerlessness. They asked about economics, and remember what that one was? I think it was, uh, it had to do with, I, I think, it wasn't good. <laughs> and anyway, then they put it all together, and they came up with the one single word that most people seem to be indicating was going on in their lives in this world that we live in today, and that word was meaninglessness meaninglessness. Now that's good news or bad news depending upon your point of view. Why do I say that? Well, in order for things to change, other things need to break down. So we talk about something is struggling to be born in the midst of something else that is struggling to keep from dying. That which is dying will die, and that which is being born will be born. Not because we want it to be that way, but it's the nature of spiritual evolution. If you go back through history, you'll see that pattern over and over and over again. And we'll have a lot more to talk about uh, that kind of thing, because a lot of people these days, and I'm sure it affects at least several, if not many, of you in this room, how do, you, how do you live in a world where the very things you're feeling inside that you want to experience, your family or your culture doesn't support? It's a big challenge for a lot of people at this time. We get this, we get this a lot here at USM. We'll show you how to meet those challenges in a successful way. So 
Basically, this is what spiritual psychology is all about, and it's what we mean about learning how to be loyal to your soul. See, your soul knows very well why you're here and what you came for and what you're doing here. But we need to wake up into what that, what that awareness is. Spiritual psychology will help you open up those doors and experience it. You don't have to take our word for it. You'll have the experience for yourself. And, w and what I would add is that learning the principles and practices of spiritual psychology really empowers you to do the work that you took embodiment to do. In other words, we all come with what we are going to talk about a little later as Earth School curriculum is issues with issues, with things that we're here to resolve, to heal within ourselves. But we don't really come necessarily with the owner's manual about how to go about doing that. And here at USM, this is real education. It's um, powerfully healing. It's very dynamic and uplifting. And it really is designed to assist you in that work.